what is our, what is, what is that? It, that donkey looks like you eating, Peyton. All right, welcome back. Oh yes. And let's oh, welcome yeah, no. an icon yes. right now, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold, you're a seven-time Mr. Olympia, one of the most famous actors in history, a successful businessman, a former two-term governor of California, and now a New York Times best-selling author, author. And that's all very impressive. But I'm gonna ask the question that everyone really wants to know. What do you bench? <laughs> Come on, how much? Well, my best bench press was 525, but this was in the good old days. Now I don't train that heavy anymore. You know, after all my heart surgeries and all that stuff, I train lighter, but I do more reps. But I still work out uh, pretty intense, you know. But I mean, I think I let the, the heavy lifting be for the young guys and, and women. That makes sense. How, much did, 500, oh, Eli, Eli, how never, much did you bench? Oh, Eli, how much did you bench? He never uh, benched, been, Arnold. He didn't bench. 320. He never did it. 320 was my max. That's max. a lie. That's a yeah. lie. You know, you know what's the interesting dead. thing about it is, is that now all of the football players are working out so hard and they're lifting so many heavy weights and they're so powerful. It's like unbelievable. I mean, like a combination of like track and field athletes and, and power lifters. Uh, in my days, when I came over to America, uh, weightlifters really uh, were doing the lifting and the football players doing the football playing, but they didn't do any lifting. And they always thought that it would slow you down and it would make you muscle bound. And, uh, you know, it is not healthy for you and all those kind of things. And then I saw the changes. I saw the lift, the, the, the football players lifting more and more weights. And they became better and better all the time and really combined the speed and endurance and the power. So it was interesting to see the development in sports in general, how athletes of different, different soccer players, tennis players, golfers, wrestlers, boxers, everyone started lifting weights and it became kind of the big thing. And the football players are really benefiting from that because what I've seen uh, in the gym when football players come in, it's just so amazing the kind of shape that they're in and how powerful they are. Arnold, I assume your donkey's name is Peyton. Is that accurate? <laughs> That's exactly right, yes. Okay, how did you okay. know? I just It's Peyton I'm number two. <laughs> the similar neck. Arnold, you, Thank uh, you. recently wrote a book called Be Useful. <laughs> Seven Tools for Life. It's been a massive hit. Congratulations. What's the most important message you want readers to take away from your book? It's one of those things where we, I want to, I believe strongly that everyone can be more successful and everyone can be happier. And uh, so many people just don't know how to do that. They get stuck in life and they feel like, you know, life is boring or so many people hate their jobs and all this. So what this book does is it gives you certain kind of tools how to become more successful, you know, if it's, uh, you know, visualizing your goals better and, you know, soccer, Arnold, making certain fumbled. sacrifices or just uh, not listening to the naysayers uh, or working your ass off. So there's a lot of lessons like that, shooting for the big goals and stuff like that. So this is kind of what I recommend in the book. And I want to make sure that everyone kind of can read it easily and then adopt it and adopt those kind of principles. I think those are great lessons. I think Zach Wilson might want a copy of that book after that fumble right there about knocking out the naysayers. You got to have two strong hands in that pocket, Arnold. He has one hand on the ball. That's easier for that D lineman to knock it out. You got to have two strong hands right, uh, right there. That's where the bench press helps those quarterbacks. Eli would know nothing about it. I don't know about this celebration right here. 320, that's a lie. That's a lie. Eli, you had another question for Arnold, yeah, I think. Ar yeah, Arnold, in your book, you write a little bit about partnerships. And uh, I got a quote that you said, by helping your co-star, you have the ability to make everyone's life better and create a positive environment. When you have some free time, uh, do you think you can review that chapter with Peyton, please? <laughs> I don't have to do that because you guys are such a great team. I mean, you're helping each no. other here. It's the most uh, popular uh, broadcast in football and in sports in general. You guys are renowned and known all over the world. Are you kidding me? I mean, I cannot improve anything and your guys' relationship and the way you do your job. Well, it's very kind of you to say, Arnold. And, and as one of the most iconic actors in history, countless people have done the Arnold impressions. And there's one that I heard recently that really stood out to me. Here it is. Absolutely. I'll be back. Arnold, and your honest assessment of Peyton's abilities as an impressionist, what are they? What, what, you know, what do you think? <laughs> I think that he tried very hard, but I think that it has to be delivered a little bit more dramatically. Like, you know, I'll be back. 
I'll be back. Yeah, so it has to be yeah. delivered okay, for the magic. But I mean, yeah. I think he did a great job. You know, we always start somewhere. He's, hey, all effort, no talent. That's what everyone said about Peyton for a long time. <laughs> Arnold, only brothers Eli can was, say things like that to each other. <laughs> Arnold, Eli was famously very durable during his career. He started 210 consecutive games. I want to show you a quote from a New York Daily, Daily News article from 2013. We'll show it when we can. Manning stands there like the Terminator, unaffected, surveying it all. Since you are the actual Terminator, I have to ask you, you think the writer was saying Eli can handle pain or that he's a heartless robot? I mean, maybe a little bit of everything. Uh, I, the way I see this is that, <laughs> that maybe the writer was kind of saying what they said about the Terminator, that he doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear, and uh, he absolutely will not stop. He will always be back. Right, I love it. Yes. Just keep saying it. Yes. Just keep saying yes. it. We got a tally. How many you know, times we can give him to say good. it? I am good. I am good. <laughs> hey, Arnold, Austin Eckler, who's a running zone. back. Eli, Eli, in the red okay. zone here. Friendly. Arnold, do you think the Chargers are going to yes. score a touchdown on a run or a pass? Take your prediction. You can't be wrong, really. If they score a touchdown. Take your pick here. What do you think? They're going to run it or throw it in if they get in the end zone? I think uh, Austin uh, Eckler. He's going to run it yes. in. That's yes. the way I see it. Love that call. And I'm Love very good at predicting. Right. Oh, he's like going to go. He just caught it. it. Look right at the now. Terminator. He caught it. Yes. Give it he to him. It. He give it to him. He's on. He's on the board. He's on the board. No penalty. No penalty. No penalty. No. Wait. You can't Wait. do it. No. Wait a minute. You can't. The penalty can't We're take away all this confetti. We're already all this confetti. You can't take away. You can't do it. Arnold predicted the touchdown from the 27, Eli. It's the longest prediction. McEnroe and Rodgers did it from the one. Big deal. That's Give a face him. mask. Face mask, defense. Face uh, mask, yes. Review. Of course he's going to de uh, decline it. Like, he's, he's looking at the coach like you want to take the penalty. Face mask, defense, number three. The touchdown counts. Bam. There we go. Right on top. Arnold, Arnold the perfect prediction. Unbelievable. <laughs> Eckler will run it. From the 21 yard line, he predicted it on third and one. He's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> he said he's down at the half yard line? No way. Challenge this. Hey, Arnold, if the Chargers don't give it to Eckler again for the touchdown, if they throw a pass, I'm telling you, this is how you have bad coach player relationships. He deserves the touchdown, A, because you predicted it, B, because he did, he did all the work to get down there. I like it again right here. No, oh, no. No, no, no. no. No, no. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, no. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? All right. Oh. Arnold, I assume you're still sticking with your prediction, right? Eckler for a running touchdown, right? I yes, think it should absolutely. Happen. I, okay. Yes. All right. Do not motion well, Eckler out of the backfield like right just, here. Just up the, up the gut, right? Up the gut. Oh, yeah. What, what are we doing? Uh, oh, he just knocked the crap out of the down. Guy. He's the, he, he wasn't set. That's a penalty. I don't think I've ever seen that. Arnold, the receiver the fell down. player was substituting in, and he knocked the crap out of the <laughs> Chargers player who was lined up. So that's a legal procedure. Watch, Watch this. this. Watch, Watch this. this on your right. On your right side. Watch this. Boom. He knocks him over. You can't do He's that. He's moving. He's moving. You can't knock over a, a player. Defense. Knocking off the play a game on the, on the defense. That's yes. half the distance to the goal. Replay second down. <laughs> I've never seen that call. I've never seen that call, Peyton. The, the Chargers defense. don't want your prediction to be true. They're trying to make this so much harder than it has to be. They're lining up on all these stupid formation. That's unbalanced, Eli. They're bringing everybody over there. <laughs> can we just turn and give it to Eckler so we can get Arnold's Is Arnold's picture still up there, Eli? Just leave it up there, right? We can't it's up there. Once it's up, up it can't come leave back. Leave it up there. Can we just run 32 power, power. right here? Power to Eckler. There it is. Finally. Please. Now get in. There it is. Touchdown. Arnold's, Arnold's right. right. All right. There we got it. By the way, Arnold, nice prediction. Look at him. Can we get the confetti going? There's the confetti. There it is. <laughs> Woo. That was going to be awkward to have you Make you know take Arnold's picture off, and I mean I was gonna let you do that. So I was not gonna do that. You're not allowed to take the Terminator's picture off. Arnold, you gotta take us the break. All right, you gotta. What would you say going to break? You're gonna come back afterwards. What do you want to tell the audience? 
We'll be back. There it is. There it is. All right, official Arnold is not coming back. He, he lied to us. He said we'll be back too many times. And he hit his quota yeah, three times is all he could say it. You forced it. You forced it out of him. I mean, he said it earlier. And you forced the commercial question. I mean, get off the script. You don't have to read question seven, Arnold. How would you take us to commercial? I just said I'll be back 12 times for you, Eli. Do I have to say it again? No, this is the only time we were coming back for real. I mean, we were going to the commercial. He is not back. He is not back. He's not back. He did not. He did. You know what? He didn't like. He got on the board. He got on the perfect prediction panel. Like he'd done enough. What was that? He had a what good interview. I couldn't tell what the donkey was doing. You mean Peyton? Peyton the donkey? His name is he not was, Peyton. You said his name was, was Whiskey. Eating. He was eating like you eat every halftime. Omaha! 